Hello, welcome back to the channel. So this is it, episode four, the final one. And it's been an absolutely amazing time. Jumping over a human being, capturing a Wookiee. It's been absolutely nuts. And do you know what? I've enjoyed every single minute. But anyway, let's just start the last one in this series in style. In this episode, I stop for a wee and we discover an abandoned building. Cue the intro. <laughs> Andy, how are you? Are you alright? All good, thank are you. you sure? Yeah. Well done, you're glad you didn't come out. <laughs> I can't believe oh, you Excellent. That. I'm going to shake your hand. You're the bravest man I've ever met. Seriously, the bravest well done. man I've, I've ever met. Well done, you didn't hurt me at all. I think a little bit of poo's come out and I need some new pants. Well done, <laughs> you didn't come out. That's the main thing. I think you just need to admit the monkey cycle is the best. I mean, what adventure bike, this small, to be fair, you wouldn't have wanted to do that on a BMW GS, would you? <laughs> Jesus. <sighs> Otherwise, somebody definitely would have been injured. I'm really surprised, in all honesty, I didn't come off. I am. I generally thought I was going to slip on the board and come straight off. I gave it as much beans as I could in first gear. <laughs> I didn't go past first gear for a reason. Jesus. Andy is a legend. I might put anybody else coming on, coming on every turn to put one of our things again. Well, the next question is, who's brave enough? <laughs> Who is brave enough? Yeah. I certainly wouldn't have let you do that. You're just a scaredy cat. That's a river crossing you've not done and a major jump now. I've done a river crossing. I meant a real river crossing. That was a real river. I've had the joys of it peeing it down. I'm absolutely soaked through, but hey, uh, what an adventure. What an absolute adventure. We've had the sidekick's new, brand new Senna Evo fail and get all clouded and now not connect. He can't hear anything out of it, so Senna, sort that out, that's bad. But anyway, what an adventure. We had a, a fan of the channel turn up. And let's just be honest, it was absolutely rocking. Made a great, great, great day out of it. Um, the sidekick, he's been spot on. We've had the best cheese in the world. And we've done everything that we promised that we were going to do. And I'm just happy to be here now. I'm just happy to be enjoyed it. Now, like I said, I'm absolutely soaked through, but it's a muggy day, so I'm not really cold at the minute. But I am looking forward to getting this stuff off and letting it dry out. There's no doubt about that. But hey, what's adventures all about? Except from this, join every single second. Every single second. So the sidekicks, <laughs> has he got stuck? I said, I need to stop for another one of those special moments, e.g.e. a wee in a hedge. Now he's just riding around looking at things. I don't know why he's excited. Oh, there he goes. Now where's he going? I have to go and find him. If he's found something good, I can't miss out on it. Dum, dum, da, 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 dum. Oh, 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 is that a bit of a wheelie? You're that far off the floor. That's like your river crossing. What's down there? Should we go have a look? It's got like a speed sign, a camera sign, and all sorts. Bit, bit odd. How abandoned is it? On this episode, <laughs> we get kidnapped by aliens. Ah, oh, I'm that <laughs> wet. I'm right wet. Look, he's trying to weird it again, but he can't because it's a scooter. Just can't do it, mate. There used to be something. Danger deep water. Are you sure? Are you, not, are you not going in then? <laughs> I 
exploring through the nature wood. Going through the stingers. The monkey cycle does it again. <laughs> Smoking, mate. Let's have a look down here. I don't think this is that abandoned, do you? But then it's all falling apart. Is there anything on the side of that? like an old abandoned warehouse but we're not actually sure how abandoned this is what do you reckon it used to be oh yeah with that there random places and all that. Bits of boat and stuff in there. Well, random, isn't it? Someone's going to ping up now and go, that's what this used to be. Half a boat in there. Half a little yacht boat, yeah. Right. Get your bike dirty. We get out of Dodge. Go this way. Through there. random huh? 
Yeah, it obviously used to be massive at one point because that goes right out the back. And that's obviously, I'm guessing, is all the offices. Well, so look, they look like they've been smashed through at some point. Anyway. The abandoned warehouse, we think. Oi! Yeah, do you see the like the old caravany thing? Look, what's that? Oh no, that looks boring. That's RSP. That's um that's that thing that those bird people go looking for the great tits. They spend their entire lives looking for and they never see blue tits. So, sidekick. Yep. Out of our, obviously, this is our last night, and this is like our last bromance <laughs> night in. So I'm cooking to make it extra special for 11 out of 10. But at what point of this entire trip, and from start to finish, there's been that moment that you'll never ever forget. <laughs> I can already <laughs> <get it> answer. <laughs> but <laughs> what moment? Uh, I would probably say. Being in the car park at Wookie Hole, just doing something ri completely ridiculous, With that. <laughs> and you jumping over a random man. So it wasn't catching the Wookie. No. The best bit for you was jumping over the random man. <laughs> the legend. That, that's going to be talked about for ages, isn't it? Well, how often do you again? jump, Andy? How, how often do you jump over a random man? Never. And to be honest, I never thought it'd ever happen during my life. <laughs> Now, who's that famous person that jumps over big jumps? Evil Knievel. Yeah, Evil Knievel. I reckon he'd be proud. I think he would as well. <laughs> I think he'd be proud of that. It was just the point in the car park where it was getting... People were turning up and we got a man laying on the floor with a board over him. We had a person that we had a, like a park attendant yeah. who stopped. And at that point... You looked away, like you weren't with us. I didn't know what was going on. <laughs> yeah, what and was you going on here? You left me all night like that. You got still on the floor. I'm going, this isn't a good idea. This really isn't a good idea. And I actually expected at that point for this person to get out of their little van and come and tell us off. No, but I think they were just you, waiting to see what was going to happen. What are you grown men doing? Oh, would you say? Making a ramp out of this guy that we've just met. <laughs> Again, just out of sheer thingy, he wanted to do it. There's no <laughs> point I or Darren turned around and said, no. do, Will you be a human ramp? He came completely up with the <laughs> idea. And as the motto goes, I won't give up, I've got to keep going. And the thing is, the offer to do it, I generally thought it's all going to go wrong. So he's just a legend, he's an insane legend. I think the big question is now... Where do we go from here? Well, I think, as always, the next person to turn up on our adventure with the most nuttiest thing in the world could top it. It's an open book now. I mean, we know what we've got planned that we're not going to tell at the minute, but there is a potential future for someone for else people to, to, join us. to join us and do something absolutely nuts. I mean, I don't know how many people are going to volunteer to be a human ram. You've got to raise the bar pretty high, though, <laughs> to beat that, haven't you? When Helmet Head makes sausage, chicken, salad, potato, cold floor, <laughs> it's not just your usual barbecue. It's the best barbecue in the world. What do you reckon? It looks right, doesn't it? Are you impressed? I just don't think you can tell me tomorrow. Well, that's, I've not cooked anything. That, that will be a problem if it's not cooked. <laughs> yeah, but it's like your sausages this morning. What goes out must come out the other end. What goes in? What goes in? What goes in must come out. There's nothing wrong with those sausages. <sighs> yeah, it's all right. All right. I'm just going to enjoy the masterpiece. 11 out of 10. 11 out of 10.
What do I do with a baby Wookie now? Hmm. Side. 